Yeah. There we are. All right, welcome back to the Volvo Talk to Experience Radio Show. Our second guest is here. This woman is an anointed senior mm-hmm. woman guy. Um, she is sort of famous. You know, from, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, she just had a hit song, Trust, um, that I played on my our show a couple of times. This is Miss LaVon Nichols. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. Yes, this is the first time we've seen each other in a couple of years since yes. um, um, Michelle Snow event. So, yes. it, so I'm going to be a quick little thing about her. Um, it's a lot she does, but I'm trying to little snippet of what she has done in her career and her gift of singing. So, um, she, Devon has had an opportunity to sing for various recording artists, contributing her vocals on their albums and concerts. She has learned to maintain humility, professionalism, and remain personable with everyone she encountered. That mindset allowed her to have the opportunity to open for Gloria Gaynor at the World Fan Apollo Theater, as well as seeing Nashville at a Stellar's Award Weekend event, Radio One's One Love Crew's New Art Spotlight, and did it to conferences, community events, seen before not the officials. LaVon was on participating in the Stellar's Awards music video, Nobody Greater, oh wow, <laughs> by Michelle Mitchell. Courtney, currently, she is a worship leader at Home Church, True North Church in South Jersey, and can seem to see where every door opens. So, so how are you today? How are you? I am so blessed. Yeah. I can't even. I, I can't. There's really no words. I feel like yeah. right now this season. Yeah. Yes, it's an honor to have you, my guest. Thank I was because I see your gifts. It's been I truly. An honor and truly humble for you to hear and some such great talent. Oh, thank um, you, you know. Yes, yeah, so right. so I want to ask you before we get to your story about how you came who you are, as you know, this is a one year anniversary of COVID nineteen happening mm-hmm. and I want to ask you how has COVID nineteen impacted your life in the past year? It has changed my life in so many ways and um you know, I'm mindful that so many people have experienced a lot of negative things, Mm -hmm. death and, you know, sadness. Um, I'm grateful that, you know, God is blessed in the midst of all of that. And so, you know, having the ability to work from home has been a blessing, you know, for me. I've encountered some um, amazing people in this, you know, pandemic and kind of opened my eyes to different things and um, business endeavors have budded out of this that can support people that are going through the pandemic um, and feeling isolated. So, you know, I've been just trying to be a positive light for mm. those who are going through things and, and put it all over my page so that if they are, you know, stressed or financially having some issues, maybe they can go to my page and I can be, you know, just a light and encouragement to people. Wonderful. So I've been doing. Wonderful. So, yeah. that's awesome. So, tell us who is LaVon Nichols. Which Ooh. growing up, like growing <laughs> up, and, <laughs> and let's see. Um, Levon was always just that 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 good friend um, to a lot of people, and like everybody knows, like I love God. Mm, so it's man. like that is what people know. They're like you know, high school friends. Like you have not changed. You've always been singing, and you've always loved God. And so that's what we know about Levon. Um, I'm always trying to help people and be a part of change. So that's who I've been since I was little. Music and God and helping people is really me. So what made you found the well? What made you start singing? Um, and I kept that throughout your whole life. Yes. Yeah, right? So my father, I come from a family um, of singers, and my father was an amazing singer. Um, and so just watching him, me and my brother, we watched him growing up, and it was our way of communicating with each other. So we would just create songs, um, and it was just a fun thing to do. But then seeing my dad go out and perform, perform with his group, sing at church, I was like, okay. And they got me up there at five years old, and um, I had my first solos. I was singing, but I got my first solo at five years old. It was like, Jesus, I can never forget what you've done for me. And that's the first, that's the one that I have because I know there was a recording of it. And it just became something like, people like, oh, John, she can sing. And so it was like, well, bring her along. And now she can sing here and she can do that. And it just continued to take off in uh, middle school, um, high school. I started taking singing engagements out. And people were like, oh, well, you know, how much do you charge? 
you want to pay me <laughs> to do what I love to do and sing? Um, and so it just it just kept on going. And I, I got, you know, trained, you know, in the church, because that's a different thing to be trained in the church. And then to get classical training and put those two together. And it's been, it's been great. Wow. Yeah. So what, what has kept you going since you started at five years old now yeah. you're here at a certain age what has kept you going in that gift because people change as they get older they get they may fall out of love and they come back to work what has um, what has kept you grounded in this gift of singing throughout the years so it was a way of communicating with my brother and my father but then it was a way of uh, communicating with god and it became like my way of you know, just showering my love to God and then a way for him to heal me. Mm. So a lot of times I'm singing, you know, about healing, but it, it hit me first. And so it's just, it's my coping mechanism at this point. You know, I sing when I'm happy. I sing when I'm sad. I probably write my best songs when I'm going through a lot of stuff. Mm. Um, and so that has kept me going. And then to know that it's impacting people, you know, times where I was just like, okay, well, maybe this is just for me. Maybe I'm supposed to just sing for me, maybe do a solo here and there. But, you know, when I, and I was like, I'm not going to pursue music on a bigger stage or try to put a song out or an album or anything like that. And people would say, Ramon, what you're doing is touching me. I could listen to you all day. Like, I would get comments like that. And I was like, okay, God, I really not sure if I want to do this industry thing. It's a lot. But people, people saying that it's ministering to them, I was like, okay, God. This is what you created me to do. I can't just sit back and just close my voice in and, and hold it all for myself. So that keeps me going, knowing that this is my channel to communicate with God and have for him to talk to me. And then I know that it's blessing other people. And so as long as he keeps doing that, then I'm going to keep doing it. Wow. That's inspiring. So fast forward. So I don't know when your first album was came out. I don't know the first. I don't know when, when, mm -hmm. when um, but... When, what made you decide, look, I'm going to put it through out. What made you decide, say, look, I have this gift. It's touching people. It's healing people. What made you decide, look, I'm going to do an album? Yeah. Um, it's a long time coming. So this is my first single that I actually put out. I'm definitely one of those perfectionists, and I will tell anybody, don't let that hold you back. Because I was, like, sitting on music for years. Where is the song? Mm -hmm. The song that's played is the first single? My first single that I actually put out, yes. So I've been singing with people in the background on other people's albums. Wait, yes. wait, yes. wait, 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 wait. You heard me correctly. <laughs> wait, 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 correctly. wait, wait, wait. I, I could have sworn you had an album before or suffered like before. No, then. you just see YouTube videos, people would share. This is your videos. first actual single My single? first single that I put out. Not the first one I created. Okay. Like I said, I've been, I was sitting on a lot of music for a long wow. time. Wow. Yeah. And I just it just had to feel, feel right. It had to be the right timing. And... After, you know, just like I said, constantly people are like, okay, so you just did a concert, you just sang this song at our church, where's your music? Like, I want to keep listening to you. Mm. Those type of things kept me going. And I was like, okay, this is, this is what's going to happen. So the beginning of the pandemic, um, you know, well, January, I said, whenever, whatever happens, I'm going to put music out this year. Then the pandemic hit in the middle, in the middle of me trying to put the song out. And I was like, okay. All right, this has already been a long time coming, but that whole process of getting the song out and finding a producer and doing it virtually until we could get into the studio, mm. it was all about trust. And I was like, okay, this is the time for the music to come out. So, yeah. And that song, what came out at the right time, because a lot of times people were, we were going through a lot. I mean, I think it came out September, September or something. Yes. So we was in the midst of the pandemic. Yeah. We had George Floyd, Beyonce Taylor. Yes. Then he had the Jacob Blake situation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, elections and fame was going over the election. So that song, a lot of people had a hard time trusting God. Yes. You know, at that time, they like, right. what's going on? Like, what? Why was going on? Why they had all those shoes in Philly? Why are young people getting shot and just letting it right? So. God does not, is not, this is taking his timing. And that song came at a time where people needed to be reassured that I didn't trust you. You know what I mean? And, and I think, and I'm shocked that was your first album. Yeah. The song that came out, I thought, yeah. maybe like, 
Baby, that's like an album coming up. I was like, I'm literally <laughs> shocked yeah. right now. That was the first album song he put out. Yeah. So it's a really um inspiring song. So is that going to be an album coming out? More songs later? Absolutely. There are definitely more songs, you know, been writing. Um, just like, okay, God, so many things, great things have been happening this year. I was like, okay, so when tell me when to move to, to keep it moving. And, you know, just being nominated for a music award for my first song. I was like, whoa, okay. So that, that all gives you momentum. And um, I'm excited to, to put out more music this year and to put out an album maybe the following year. So there's there's definitely more coming. I'm not going to sit on my music anymore. Yeah, your time is now. Your time yeah. is to elevate because people need to hear it, you know, yeah. especially as we continue to go with this pandemic, continue to trust God in the midst of this. and. Yeah. and Things of part open up more and more. So we had to trust God and that God is leading us. So are there any gospel artists you'd love to collab with down the road? Goodness, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. So many amazing people. Like people that I, I, I have been singing since I was young. Yolanda Adams, who I've, I've met, and uh, she gave me great feedback on my music. That was amazing. But I would like to sing a song with her. C.C. Winans, um, Fred Hammond. I mean, the list goes on and on. You know, I, I love music, so there's some, you know, secular artists. Like, I'm, I'm an old school um, person at, at heart, so it's like Michael McDonald. So if he ever hears this, I've been singing for years. Like, I want to sing a song. Um, you know, Gladys Knight. There's just so many mm. great people. Vicky Winans. So many great artists that I'm like, okay, if I ever got the chance, I would, I would just be so happy. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. This is awesome. So that's now. So when when was the award ceremony? When you say you got nominated, what was the? So award? I was nominated for a Kindred Award. Award. I don't know. It's it just ended. I think last Sunday was right. the last time you could um actually put in a vote. So I don't know if I won or not. But you know, I'm just I'm honored to be nominated. I'm honored to see names that I have watched in the community be on the same um nomination with me and i'm like okay this is my first song and i'm i'm just grateful to be amongst um people being being noticed in that in that point and i'm like okay we'll, we'll see what happens so i think the awards are coming up uh tim uh, ewing please don't please don't beat me up i can't think of the date that it's coming out <laughs> but <laughs> but i know it's coming soon so you know if it's God's will. God's will, you know. So when that show come out the date, I'm let I'll not i am let you people know because I think what you're doing is definitely a blessing from God. It's a truly um amazing gift that you kept throughout the years, you know. So um what does Levon do do outside of singing? Um, I, I love to help people. Like okay. I get so um I get so much joy in helping people, so whatever I can do to support um, in lending my ear, um, being uh, working with my nonprofit, you know, that's something that I want to be able to, especially with the pandemic because of the nature of my nonprofit, was very hands on. What was your nonprofit? I <laughs> love Blueprint. Oh, what, what is that? I, I know what is that. <laughs> yeah, the Love Blueprint is uh, the nonprofit that I created, and that was basically coming out of a toxic relationship that I was in. Mm. And while I was in it, I was like, I have to keep doing who I am. Like, I have to keep helping people, and helping people help me heal and help me get through that situation. And so, I wanted to provide a day of encouragement for other people, um, people who just needed it and didn't necessarily have to be. Um, in my situation, and so I would I would go to different um, shelters and just do what I could, bring all of the resources that I possibly could, and it turned into um, a nonprofit. And so because it's so hands on, it's like once the you know COVID dies down even more, then I can start to pick those pick those things up. But I love pouring back into people, mm. seeing people be the best they possibly can be. So in every area of my life, I use my voice to to help people, to help them be their best. And I'm, I'm grateful for those opportunities. Wonderful. We got to find out more about the nonprofit. Yeah. It's already getting involved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're an entrepreneur. Now you're a senior entrepreneur. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So what's that right there? Is that songs or? So I came out with a green card line. Um, and so it is love notes and I 
teamed up with um, A. Smith and Company. So I do what I was doing, talking and, and posting um, inspirational things on social media. And it was like, you, these things that you're saying need to be shared. And I think that they can go on a card. And since I am a lover of cards and had a box of cards and started sending them out at the beginning of the pandemic to connect with my friends and family, it just made sense. And so I got the opportunity to collaborate and I have 14 cards in my collection, this first collection, and they're definitely me. It's an opportunity for people to be a light to those around them. So I love God, I love music, I love music, I love people, I love love, mm -hmm. um, and I love plants. And so I put all of those things together into these card collect into the card collection. So they're all inspirational. Um, they are blank on the inside because you can tailor them to whatever situation that applies. So Grow Baby, Grow, Baby, Grow is one of my favorites. It combines motivation and um, plants. So I, during the pandemic, I fell in love with plants. A lot of people started a hobby. Plants were my thing and my house was filled with plants. And so when I got the opportunity, I incorporated that into the cards. And so... You know, you can write, you know, this to your friend or family member. Just say, I want you to keep on growing. You want to inspire someone. Um, this one is so many times you have been my reason. Um, which, you know, sometimes you have like, what? why am I doing what I'm doing? And right. then you think about your friends and your family member. Like, I'm doing this because I want to be better for my friends and family. Right. I'm doing this because I'm so in love. You know, there's so many reasons why somebody could be your reason. So I made them um, in a way that you can customize them for yourself. So how did you get the the plants on it? The plants, the design. How did you get that? How'd you so get... this was definitely a collaboration. Okay, um, yeah. So. I, and so like I said, A Smith and Company. Um, I worked with them, and so gave them my ideas, my words, what I wanted things to look like, and we worked for months. Um, this wasn't just like, oh, I decided to do this. This was months in the making. This came out, I think it came out in um, late January, February. Um, and we just collaborated for months. And it was like, this this line works, this doesn't work. This, this these colors, like, we went through everything. And I'm, I'm so excited about them and, and exploring that whole world of greeting cards and how far do I want to go. But it all it's all a part of my brand. It's all a part of being a light. So you hear my voice, mm -hmm. but then once you hear my voice, there's things that I can leave with you that you can now be a light to people around you or keep you motivated and inspired. Wow. A lot of gems today. Now, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know that entrepreneur, green card specialist. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to get to the specialist part. Of it. It's, it's a whole other world, but I'm, I'm excited. Like I said, you know, the pandemic. You know, you had a lot of time. You're true. sitting there, and it's like, what, what can I do where I'm at? And I was literally taking every opportunity that was coming my way, and that opportunity came to put my words in writing on, you know, on a card. A lot of people don't think about cards like that, but I like snail mail. It's it's special to get a card in the mail from somebody mm. that you care about. Right. They were thinking about you at that time and put it in the mail, and now you've had something to, wow. to, That's you inspiring. Know, to hold. So. That's inspiring, like, really inspiring. Like, so I might... Get it because that's that's definitely important because like, I think like cars make someone's day too yeah. you know and um and you talk about the pandemic how God shuts down to help mm -hmm. work on ourselves and open up new avenues that right. help us be uncomfortable you know what I mean well, yeah. and do things outside the box like I'm doing I'm like doing this now but right. but it, it has open doors outside of our gifts because we are we have gifts but there were other doors that we thought maybe we didn't have before so. Right. It's truly, truly a blessing. So, so what's next for you? Wow, um, so many great things. I'm, I'm so excited about this year. Um, I basically can't contain it, but um, <laughs> um, I'm just looking forward to the opportunities of to you know promoting the music, um, getting more music out, um, collaborating with more uh, you know musicians and things like that. Um, and in career wise, just really working um, the my business, which is that's what um, the cards are under, what my music's under, Dijon Music Group. And so I have um, some other business things that will be coming out, apparel that will be coming out to go along with the cards. Um, just pumping as much inspiration and goodness back mm, into the world because mm. it's so much going on. And I'm like, 
I want to do my part to inspire people to have them wear something, to give something, so that we can just keep, you know, paying it forward. That's that's what I want to be doing. And I can see you are a beacon of light and a positive light. And um, so before we close, can you tell us where people can find you and about, more about the nonprofit, your mm -hmm. singing, the green cards, and yeah. also can you give little suffering of your song? Like a little suffering, sure. not a lot, the whole song, but a little suffering, suffering. Sure. So um, just to sum it all up, because I do a lot of different things, so you <laughs> yes. can go to www.lavonnichols.com. That's where I put everything um, housed there, but you can also follow me on social media. I love to connect with people on social media, so it's Lavon Nichols on all social media, on YouTube, Daily Motion. I have music videos there, and my music is on all um, digital platforms, so iTunes, Spotify, all of that stuff. So please, you know, connect with me, and um, if you have questions, I can try my best to answer all your questions. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, listen, prayer requests, song requests, I'm, I'm all right. All right. Um, let's see a little bit of the song. Um, I know you will. I know you can. So I place my life in your hands I know you'll show up I know you'll come through that's why Jesus I will trust you <laughs> alright alright that's a hit song on trusting you trust it and God, trust in God. We still in the midst of this good. We still got to trust God. God will see us through. Don't give up. Don't give in. So, Levine, it's been an extraordinary honor and privilege to have you as my guest. This won't be the last time. <laughs> so, uh, so, hopefully, you know, we can come back. You know, we can promote the album. You know, you know, it's coming out. Your business line, you know, because we want to promote people who are doing successful things. So, uh, for those who are watching, thank you so much for joining us. You know, continue to pray for me. You know, I'm about to go out and get my COVID vaccine shot. So, please, please share the video. Watch the video. Be inspired. Follow Levine. Follow Su 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 and Greg. Follow them. Those great women doing extraordinary work. And we hope you see you next Saturday for another episode of the Moments Trauma to Experience Real Show. Have a good rest of your Saturday. Also, my, lastly, speak for your clocks tonight. <laughs> 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 All right. See y'all soon. <laughs>